What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Sharing the Gospel of Jesus Christ with Murph. Uh, first and foremost, I hope you guys have had a very blessed week. Uh, and secondly, um, I want to say I'm not here to belittle anyone, uh, anyone's religion, anyone's uh, beliefs, you know, whatever uh, you believe in, you know, I'm not here to belittle that. What I'm simply here to do is to tell you what Jesus Christ has done for me in my life. And, um, you know, as a Christian, I'm going to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I will stand on his promises, and I will have faith and trust in him all my life because I know that I know. And uh, so being said that, um, and the reason I do say that is because I have been perse persecuted recently for what I stand for and what I'm doing for Christ. Um and you know by the enemy through through people and you know I, I don't look at it as anything out of the ordinary because it says in God's word that will happen we will be persecuted for his name sake and you know um, so I'm not mad at that at all but anyway to, the, uh, to get on with the message of uh, for tonight I just want to say you know I trust in the Lord with my whole heart because when I was at my lowest low, I called on Him, and when I look at my life now compared to, you know, then I was so, uh, I was without direction, I was uh, a mess, and, you know, and the reason I do what I do is because, you know, I know that there's people out there that, are like, that were like me, maybe not the same situation, you know, I had my own situation. But there are miserable people out there looking for hope, looking for an answer, looking for uh, something to believe in. And I'm just here as a personal witness and a testimony that, of God's grace that He is the answer. He is the way. He is the life. I'll, I'll tell you what He, you know, I've told and I will tell you what He has done for me. And, you know, He's uh, just made my life so much more abundant and just to have a relationship with the creator is so it's unbelievable it's unbelievable when I you know whenever I come and uh, and I talk to him and I communicate with him and you know he just talks to me in so many different ways and it's amazing and I thank the Lord for it and so I will stand for Jesus all my life because I, I see what he's done in my life. And uh, it brings me to the message tonight. Uh, I'm not going to read it exactly, the verse. I'm just going to read what it's about because I'm driving down the road in my car. And uh, But the verse comes from uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 13. And um, what happened is some kids were going to come. They were bringing kids to Jesus to Jesus to put his hands on them. And, and the disciples rebuked them, and Jesus said, you know, don't do this, because like the, the ones that are like the children are going to be the ones that will be in the kingdom of heaven. And, um, you know, when the Lord delivered this message to me, I instantly thought of my daughter and how, you know, my wife says it all the time, that she depends on us, and, you know, she, she trusts us, you know, she can't do anything on her own. She uh, she needs us to feed her. She needs us to take care of her, and um, and she depends on me to do that. And you know, I feel like that's the way the Lord wants us to be with Him. And you know, He is our Father. He wants to take care of us, and we need to let Him take care of us. We're hopeless without Him. I mean, um, you know, we can put on a pretty face and think we have it all together and um, and you know put on this facade that everything's okay in our life but unless we know our creator and you know we what are we really you know what do you what do you have to trust in at the end of the night I mean because a bank account isn't going to do it uh, possessions isn't going to do it I'm putting my faith in Jesus because I know what he's done for me. 
and I know what his word says. I know what his promises say. And he tells me that he's gone to prepare a place for me, and I truly believe that with all my heart because I know what he's done for me thus far already. And, you know, I'm not trying to push anything on you. I'm not trying to... Um, I'm not trying to uh, put down anything you believe. All I'm saying is I know what Jesus has done for me. And I know that if you're hurting, I know that if you're without direction, I know that if you know something is not right in your life, Jesus is the answer, people. And uh, even if you do feel like everything's right in your life, Jesus is still the answer. I'm sorry. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And I love him with all my heart. And... Um, you know, like I said, I was lost and so without direction and just uh, miserable and so scared of everything. And I don't know what your situation is tonight. Your situation may be completely different than mine was. But all I'm, all I'm uh, telling you is that Jesus is good, the Lord loves you, and He wants a relationship with you. You are His creation. He created you. Just, you know, I look at my little bear and I look at her and I'm like, wow, you know, I'm responsible for this. Or is ultimately responsible, but, you know, she's my child too. And and that's how the Lord thinks of us. We're his, we're his children. And he wants us to depend on him and lean on him and trust in him. He's just waiting for you to come home, basically. And, um, you know, just, just do it. Give him a try. Just give him a try today if if you're you know desperate right now and you are just you don't know where else to turn turn to the creator turn to the lord turn to the lord our god turn just say jesus you know i don't know what is going on i really don't know what all this is about but i heard i heard i heard something you know what i'm saying and and you know, it, it amazes me when i think of it you know lord i heard that if i if I came to you, you'd listen, you know, just approach him that way. And I'm telling you, there's nothing, nothing like it. And having, knowing that I can go to the master, the creator of the universe, what problem could I have that he can't handle? I mean, he did it all. And no matter what problem you have, he can, his grace is sufficient. He will get you through. If there's something that, that, is out of our reach, it's not out of reach for Him. If there's something that we feel like we can't do by ourselves, it can be done with Him. And uh, so all I'm asking tonight is put your trust in Him. Believe. You know, there's a saying, you have to see to believe. Well, you know, I totally disagree with that. I believe, on the other hand, you have to believe to receive. And uh, that's what I'm asking you to do tonight is believe and receive. God is good. His grace is sufficient. Just uh, trust in Him. And be like the little children. Depend on your Father. Depend on Him. Trust in Him. You know, if you have a heavy burden, a heavy load, you can't do it on your own, give it to the Lord. That's what He wants you to do. Um, anyway, I'm going to come to a close here. I just want to say I give God all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. I am nothing without Him. I trust completely in Him. You know, uh, I'm trying to get out of the house a little more now and do these because, you know, I have nothing wrong. I have nothing against sitting in the house and doing them. But, you know, the Lord has enabled me to get out by myself and, you know, do this, you know, ride around by myself and be calm. And uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, do it because it's more fun that way. And, um, you know, and that brings me to one more point before I let you guys go. Um, a lot of people say, well, you know, you, you're better of this panic and anxiety now, which they forget to think of my heart situation, and they forget to think of my little girl, how all these events came together, nothing but the Lord. I mean, it was just, the Lord seen I had a little bit of faith, and, you know, it says, if, if, the, if the Lord can't trust you with small things, how is he going to trust you with big things? But he seen I had a little bit of faith, and he helped me with my panic and anxiety. And a lot of people say that that was just, you know, that's just faith that got me through that meet. And it was my faith by his grace. But uh, a lot of people would say that, you know, God didn't have anything to do with that. Well, he healed me instantly. I mean, I was staying up late, you know, I, I would, 
not be able to sleep because I would be so scared. Thoughts running through my mind all the time. And he took that away instantly. And, I mean, it was just amazing, amazing how he did that. And um, so, you know, I'm trusting in Jesus. And then, not to mention my little girl, how she came, how, you know, they were saying I was probably going to have a heart transplant. I went down there, and it was just a test of faith, and everything was fine. The Lord wanted wanted me to get out of that, wanted to take care of me and give me a more abundant life. And that's what he wants for all of us, is to have a more abundant life in him. So trust in him. Guys, you have a, a great night, a great week. Um, and just and God bless you. I pray if there's anyone out there right now that don't know Christ, that you just come to him humbly and just say, Christ, you know, Jesus, Lord, I need you. And uh, we all need him. And his grace is sufficient. I love you guys. You have a great week. Uh, and I will see you next week. Lord willing. Peace. Murph signing out.